Okay, so let's have this topic. Identifying percentiles using the t-table. So this is the t-distribution table. Then we have this problem. So determine the t-value based on the given. So we have n equals 15. So n is the sample size since the given is the sample size. So we need to solve first this degrees of freedom. So df that's equal to n minus 1. So to compute for the degrees of freedom, that's 15 minus 1. So df now or degrees of freedom, that's 14. Then we also have this area, that's point zero two. So to solve now for the t value based on this given, so degrees of freedom, that's the df, 14. Then the area, that's 0 0.02. So therefore, the t value is 2.264. Then for this given, so the degrees of freedom, that's 25. And the area, that's 0 0.05. So we can solve now the t-value because we have now the df. So df, that's 25. Then for the area, 0 0.05. So the t-value now is 1.708. Then for this problem, so find the 95th percentile of the t-distribution with 21 degrees of freedom. So first, we need to compute the area on the right of 95th percentile. So using this equation, that 100 minus 95, that's 5%. Then to convert this 5% in decimal, that's 0 0.05. So therefore, this 0 0.05 is the area the right of 95th percentile. So to solve now for the t value, so we have this degrees of freedom, that's 21. Then area, that's 0 0.05. So the t value now is 1.7 to 1. Then to put this one in a curve, so let's assume this is 1.7 to 1. And this area is 0 0.95 and to the right of 0 0.95. So this area is 0 0.05. So therefore, the 95th percentile is 1.721. Then for this problem, so find the 98th percentile of the t-distribution with 17 sample size. Now since the given is sample size, so we need to solve first the degrees of freedom. That's n minus 1 or 17 minus 1. So df now is 16. Then to solve for the area to the left of this 98 percentile, so that's 100 minus 98, that's 2%. Convert this one to decimal, that's 0 0.02. So this 0 0.02 is the area to the right of 98 percentile. Then to solve now for the t values, so we have this uh, degrees of freedom, that's 16. Then uh, area, that's 0 0.02. So t value now is 2.235. Then to plot this one in a curve, so let's assume this one is 2.235. So this area, this one is 0 0.98 and this is 0 0.02. So therefore, the 98th percentile is 2.235. Then this problem, so find the area to the right of 2.2. 0, 0.045 under the t-distribution with 29 degrees of freedom. So in a curve, so let's assume this one is 2.045. Then solve for this area. So using the t-distribution table, so we have this degrees of freedom. That's 29. Then look for this 2.045. 
So, 2.045, this is 2.045. So, therefore, the area is 0 0.025. So, this one is 0 0.025. So, therefore, the area now to the right of 2.045 is 0 0.025. Then, for this problem, so find the area to the right of 2.8. So, under the T-distribution with 13 degrees of freedom. So, in a curve, this one is 2.8. Then, find this area. So, using the T-distribution table. So, 13 degrees of freedom. So, 13. Then, look for this uh, t-value, 2.8. So, under 13, look for 2.8. Since there is no 2.8, but we have this 2.6 and 3.0. So, therefore, 2.8 is between 2.6 and 3.0. So, therefore, the area now, so the area of 2.8 is between this 0 0.005 and 0 0.01. So, this is now the area. Then, for this given, so find the area. So, sample size that's equal to 15. So, we need to compute first the degrees of freedom. So, DF does 15 minus 1. So, therefore, the degrees of freedom is 14. Then, the T value, that's 1.5. So, in a curve, so this one is 1.5. Then, find this area. So, to solve for the area using this T distribution table. So, we have this degrees of freedom, that's 14. So, DF, that's 14. Then, the area is uh, 1.5. So, look for this T value, 1.5. So, under 14, so 1.5, since there is no 1.5, but we have this 1.3 and 1.7, so therefore, this 1.5 is between this 1.3 and 1.7. So, therefore, the area that's between 0 0.05 and this 0.10. So, this is now the area of t-value 1.5.